Hi, Len from Elite Helicopters here. Today I'm going to talk to you about how to remove safely the doors from the Robinson R44 helicopter. couple of tools that are going to help you out with this job today. We've got here an upholstery remover, uh, I suppose a flathead screwdriver will do the same job, and a pair of needle nose uh, vice grips or needle nose pliers will do uh, quite fine as well. Come on over. It's best to do this job in a very calm environment. You don't want wind pushing the doors open on you, so it's best that you do it inside the hangar before you push the helicopter out for the day. Start by opening the rear door, latch goes down and forward door pops open nice and easy. You'll note that I've left the ring clip in place at this point in time. Don't take the ring clip out just yet. We want to keep it there. On the inside here, we'll start with the gas strut on the back door. This is where you want to begin. So we're going to take our flat upholstery remover tool or our flathead screwdriver, whatever you have handy. And we're going to slide it underneath the metal circular clip that's at the back of the gas strut and we're going to gently lever the clip up. It's really important that we do that to make sure that we don't damage the gas strut when we're trying to remove it from the ball joint underneath. Next thing we're going to do is make sure you've got a good hold on the door with your right hand and with your left hand, we're going to gently remove the gas strut off the ball clip. Once the gas strut has been separated, I recommend that you keep a good hold of this one. They are easy to lose. So either make sure it's securely attached to the door still or place it in your pocket, just make sure it doesn't go missing. Once the gas strut is separated, we can go ahead and close the door. So we'll shut the door up now. We don't need to um, latch it, but we'll just leave it there. We've got a ring clip here. This is responsible for making sure that the door can't spring open or pop off the aircraft fuselage during flight. So we need to remove this clip now. You might need your needle nose pliers to do this one. As you can see, this ring clip, it's in a, a pretty good shape. So I should be able to just rotate that ring clip now and get it out of its position like such. There we go. Again, a very small but very important piece of equipment. Don't lose that one. I suggest you place it in your pocket before it goes missing. Make sure you keep your eye on it wherever it goes. Okay, now this requires two hands, this part. Some doors are a little bit trickier to get out than others. I think this one is a good fit, so it's probably gonna be nice and easy. But you can see we've got a pin on the top section of the door, and we've also got a pin down on the lower section of the door as well. Now we need to make sure both those pins come out. So the recommended way to do this is, if you can, to just gently open and close the door as you're lifting the door up. And you'll see that it popped out quite nice and easily. Make sure you've got a good grip on the top and the bottom of the door. Don't try and do this one-handed you are likely to drop the door on the ground, which could result in scratches to the perspex of the door, which of course is really hard to get out. So now we've got both uh, pins out and the door's off, we can pop it safely up on the door rack and make sure that it's, uh, it's kept nice and safe. Now that we've removed the door, let's talk about how we put it back on safely. Same thing again, make sure you've got a good grip on the door with both hands at all times. You want to take your time going nice and slowly with this to make sure you don't damage the airframe or the door itself. It's just about making sure that you're nice and slow and you get everything lined up properly. So coming on in, you can see what we'll do is again with the same, same technique, one hand at the bottom of the door, one hand at the top of the door. We're going to line up the bottom pin first with the hole. We just side it by eye. Once we've got that bottom pin lined up and in, we'll see that the top one lines up and they should both pop in and the door slips down into place. Again, make sure that you don't let go of the bottom of the door until you're certain that both pins are aligned and in. Okay, close the door up, take your cotter's pin, cotter pin, sorry, and you want to, a lot of people like to put it in the top. I actually like to put the pin in the bottom of the door. I feel that there's a little bit more space at the bottom. So we're gonna take the pin, line it up with the hole, and make sure that we thread it until it's all the way through nice and safely and there is freedom for it to remove. As you'll see, the front door should move past the cotter pin nice and simple and the back door shouldn't cause any damage with the pin as well. 
coming to the inside of the door, we're going to now fit the gas strut. You should see here on our gas strut that the circular ring clip is still elevated, so it should pop on nice and easy to the ball joint. Take the gas strut, pop it onto the ball joint and push down nice and firmly. You need to make sure that that circular metal clip is also pressed down and in place to make sure the gas strut can't pop off again. Now the door's back on and you're ready for flight. The front door strut might take a little bit of effort to get it off. That's okay, it is what it is. So what you wanna do is get your fingers in a good position, get a good grip on the strut and you're going to pull up until you can feel the strut pull away from the door lever. A little bit of energy required there, that's okay. Now at this point, it's really important that you remember to push the door lever closed or the gas strut on the front door shut. So you can see how I'm going to do that. I'm just gonna place the palm of my hand against the ball joint there and I'm going to push forward just to make sure that the gas strut there is in the uh, closed position. That's gonna prevent any damage from happening to the door. There it is sitting there. So I've pushed it forward to this position. Now, again, make sure that you don't lose this little strut. They are a, uh, an important little piece part of the uh, fuselage. We don't want that to go missing. So make sure it's securely attached or you put it in your pocket again. Close the door up and same thing again. So we're gonna remove the cotter pin from the door and pop the door off the same way that we did the back door. 